injury update so Rivaldo then catch yeah the yeah Rivaldo you saw people in crashes I mean he's a tackle yesterday yeah. as I said yesterday I wonder if the guy has apologized for mm-hmm. that because it was a career threatening uh, 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 tackle mm-hmm. I saw it on TV and yeah he just never worried about the ball he just said I want that ankle yeah. And he went to the ankle, and it's, it's unacceptable. And if my player does that, I also say it. Um, yeah, so far that's that's him who was playing uh, yesterday. So we, sorry, coach. What's the diagnosis? How long? Or they no, no. I, yeah. we'll, we'll speak to the doctor now. Yeah. And uh, in fact, he's the one to be addressing that because he's here. Okay. Yeah. Um, but what I know is when you have a, a swollen ankle or a swollen part of the body. You can't scan it. You can't take it to a scan. It, it mu- it, yes, yeah, thank you. It must go down. For, uh, I think they say 48 hours or 36 hours, and then the scan can be able to penetrate. So as long as it's in that uh, position, you can't really give a diagnosis, to be honest. Mm. And I think it's gonna say that to you. Yeah. yeah. So, but he's the only one out. Or yeah, he's the one, only one out uh, out of that uh, out of yesterday's program. Obviously, we have. Uh, Long term ones, uh, the Anton, the Pakamanis, uh, uh, and I think Shupi is gonna give all the full injury updates. Okay. But uh, from from yesterday, he's the only one out, and Riyad got a red card yesterday. Um, we expect Dennis uh, to be back. In fact, Dennis was more precaution um, because of that uh, hamstring that he always gives him hard time. So we just wanted to make sure that uh, uh, he's available for the final, and uh, why not? Well, Kennedy can play that game, you know. Also give Kennedy a chance. So that's the situation with uh, with uh, with long term injuries. So we'll get back those who have to come back. Uh, we'll check. We'll give the injury update. Coach, usually uh, people start talking about player management in the better half or second half of uh, of the season. Uh, yeah. But uh, for Sundowns, we've had to deal with that quite early in the, uh, not even halfway through the season. Yeah, but I get it. We are we 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 suffer from being too ambitious as a club, trying to be in all the places, uh, trying to. To, to try to win top eight, which we failed because we lost the semi-finals. Uh, fortunately, we managed to go to the final of Telcom and trying to be top of the group in, in Champions League, which fortunately we, we managed and also changed the league uh, or, 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 what do you call, uh, protect the, the, the cup and try and keep it at Glor Cup. So that's what you, when you try all those things and you're too ambitious, you're bound to suffer. And when you have a lot of players who are also playing international football, like Dennis and them, you, you will suffer from injuries, you'll suffer from, from all those things. Tapelo Morena, his injury came from, from Bafana when he played against Bafana. I don't know if you remember when he played, they tried to substitute him. Uh, the last match was it Orlando Stadium, Sudan. They, they were substituting and they didn't substitute. I don't know why they didn't substitute because they had enough time to get substitute. But I don't want to talk about why they didn't substitute him because I remember he, want, he wanted to be substituted. But that's why we are where we are with uh, uh, Tapelo. But if you play uh, international football and you're playing for your club, it happens, man. Even overseas, Aguero and all those guys, they get injured uh, in the national team. It's normal. It's professional sport. That one. Uh, we can't complain. We 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 at Sundowns we understand that players must represent the national teams, and they need to play for their national team. As long as they've been declared fit by the doctors in the national team, they need to play. We need, those are the the principles. I was a coach in Bafana. I know that because at one stage David Moyes didn't want to give me Steven Pinar. So we follow the protocol. We call FIFA. We do that. Uh, he's not gonna play for the next three games. Uh, 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 if he doesn't play for Bafana, he brings him in. So this still this story of 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 club coaches fighting for a player. Why is he playing in the national team? It's not in your hands. And by the way, don't send him. You won't have him for three weeks. So that's the story. And and by the way, we need to support national teams. 
you know, we need to see Bafana doing very well. So there's no issue. And coach, uh, um, Mario Sundowns has cup pedigree uh, ahead of this weekend. How do you uh, psych your players up to actually say, guys, um, as much as we may have the uh, favorite uh, tag, but uh, we need to win the game on the field first? No, I don't think we have uh, we are favorites. I think uh, Marisberg has an edge. They've been winning more games than us. Uh, they've been doing very well. Uh, so, if you, if you, maybe you're talking about the profile of the clubs, yeah. of course, uh, we, we can't say put any excuse to say uh, that uh, Marisberg uh, we are not favorites in that space. But football is a match, you know. Uh, so it's, it's your form. You must know the cup is not the league. Ne? The cup is, you can lose and draw all the games in the league. Come cup day, you win. Come cup day, you win. Then you are in the final. It has nothing to do with your form in the league or whatever. So, so that doesn't help. Cup, it's a cup. It's a once-off. What happens on that day, whoever who's uh, good, who pitches, who is ready, and also a little bit of luck. Ne? You need a little bit of that. Then you win the cup. I mean, that, that, that's it. It doesn't mean that uh, uh, when you win a cup or in the final, it means you're really, really doing very well. Especially the, the cup of four games. I mean, you can draw, win, draw, lose. And when the day of the cup you win, you're in the final. Coach, um, straight after the penalty last night, um, I saw you telling Shishi to to take the penalty and his game looked uh, he looked more confident and uh, um, enjoying his game from there on how happy would you say you are to go into the final with a injury free Mshishi number one and number two uh, very confident Mshishi yeah we I did not tell him to take the penalty we do practice penalties you are here also you see we do practice penalties uh, Gaston and Mshishi are the guys who take uh, penalties so Gaston is not on the pitch, it's a no-brainer. Um, she, she must take it if he feels good. Um, uh, 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 so, it's his space. And, and when Nascimento is around, you know it's his space. Uh, so Gaston has got a 100% record. Temba Zohan has got a 100% record. Nascimento has got a 100% record. But Nascimento 100% on maybe 9 or 10 penalties. So, they, they know. Uh, yeah, sometimes I've seen Gaston negotiating with Tembas on the pitch to say who takes it, who doesn't take it. I just stay away because I know they practice them and they know. And, and we've got other penalty takers. Andy Lejal is a very good penalty taker also. Trust me. He takes them, yeah, even Madisha. Lyle also is good with penalties. But uh, you have to follow the principle to say who's penalty, who's a penalty taker, penalty taker number one or two or three, yeah. I don't know if I've answered the other question. Confidence. Confidence. Yesterday I was not supposed to play in 90 minutes, eh? Because I was afraid that I'm overloading him for the match because he's not fit to play. He doesn't have match fitness. He just came back from two months layoff, eh? So we're supposed to be building him up slowly like we've been building Sereno. But I was, I had a problem on the pitch because uh, uh, some of the changes were forced, like uh, Rivaldo's one, and, and, and Sugar played with flu yesterday, Mabunda. He said he's okay, and I must listen to him if he says he's okay. So he had flu, uh, but he played. So, and also, he must know he hasn't been playing a lot, so he says, coach, no, I want to play. I must give him a chance to play. Um, and that's the other substitute. Those were two uh, first substitutes. But not only that, also was also a little bit tactical on Mabunda because I, I it was uh, Mabunda and uh, who played in the midfield yesterday? We changed the team so much. I forget. Madisha, Rivaldo. Rivaldo Madisha. I mean, Rivaldo is a centre back and Mabunda is a six. So I didn't have enough uh, on attack. You know, it's like I'm going two sixes when I was supposed to have an eight and a six. So that was one of the, the, the changes that happened. It was also a little bit tactical. But it's good to have uh, Temba Zwani back. I think second half, he, he played very well. He, 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 he came to the level that uh, we always know, but you could see that first half he was losing a few balls. But he just doesn't have the game speed and match fitness. But a player like him, 
Now we needed him to win. He came up. I mean, look at the ball he gave to Pizzo. Look at the balls he's been uh, distributing. He should have scored also. So we are forced to keep him on the pitch because we want to win now. You know, so I'm I'm wondering if uh, I didn't we didn't overload him. So we have to look after him for the next two days. And if he has to take another day off tomorrow, he can take a day off. Coach Matisha seems to be improving each game, and also yesterday after the substitution, he brought him in the middle field. Yeah, he's he's developing. Eh? He's coming up very well. He wish he stays humble on 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 his uh, performance, and um, yeah. Him and Musa, uh, you know, I always talk for my players, and and other coaches also talk for their players. I think they're the two centre back, best centre backs in the country. Uh, him and Musa, and I always say that yeah, uh, yes, we have uh, good centre backs in Tyson and Butler, which is which is they're good also. Make no mistake. But I'm saying I'm, I'm we are blessed with these two also, that any day, any time. They, they can play. I mean, if they play again in Widat, they play wherever and uh, they keep zero behind in Widat. So that that really says that uh, they are at the right level. They keep zero behind international games uh, when we played uh, the Angolans and all that. So it means they are at the right level. And I'm happy that Bushe and Tyson are also uh, playing international matches. So we need international places in that place. So we are blessed with four centre backs. Uh, in the country, same as the midfielders. We've got a lot of central midfielders. Kamohel or Zungu, Dean Femen, whether Kekana is there or not. Uh, we have so much uh, central midfielders. We are blessed in the country with uh, uh, central midfielders. Cold, can I ask just the threat that Maritzbeck uh, posed? A mm. lot of people thought they would struggle when uh, Ndrovu went to Pirates, Makaringe also left a couple of players that they've lost, but they've... No, yeah. they've done well. Yeah. And uh, uh, if those guys can really, really, honestly speaking, create so much scoring opportunities against a team that is top of the log, that's winning all the games, like the uh, Chiefs, hey, if you don't respect that, that they can beat... Because we don't beat the Chiefs. Uh, every, they are beating everybody except Marisbeck. So if you don't respect that, and uh, uh, you're making a, a big mistake. So we have to respect uh, Judas. We have to respect uh, 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 all the players that they have. They've got a very good team. You know, they they really, really have a good team. Kunene, uh, Bukanen, uh, this boy who was playing for Vets last year. Lang class and team also played for Vets. Uh, the rook in defense. Uh, I, I don't know if Tulu uh, uh, is back, but they have uh, enough. They have uh, Senoka. Top keeper. They've they've got number one keeper in in Ghana. You know they have enough. They they are they are strong. So you got to respect uh, what they have, and and they've been winning. Yeah? They won away. Uh, in 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 Amazulu, so the the worst thing you can do is to 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 look at the position on the log of Marisbeck and look at us and say, uh, or look at the the results for years and say that we always have an upper hand. Yes, we do, but uh, that's not going to help you. And and you, or to say that we will have more people on the on the grandstands. How did they come up? Uh, in the final, didn't they play against teams that have more people in the grandstands? And 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 I think Eric wants the the cup. Yeah? I think he's won or one cup with SuperSport, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. and Cape Town City. Yeah? So he, he shows that uh, he's a coach that wins cups. So we should uh, respect that. Coach, um, your your advocacy for on something a bit different for local coaches can now be questioned. Uh, what did you make of the developments of Pirates with Lenny being moved and uh, the guy from Jimmy? Yeah, Matlati, you want me to comment about Lenny yeah. Pirates. But why should I comment about Lenny <laughs> Pirates? I don't want to upset people. Coach. Coach. No, I comment on local coaches, not on Orlando Pirates. If you rephrase it, maybe I can answer. Not Orlando Pirates. Okay. Coach, was yeah. uh, Coach Lenny too young to coach a team like Orlando Pirates? Not taking away what his is, What is too young, man? The Tuchel and Thomas Tuchel and all these coaches have came up. There's Lundberg coaching, uh, Arsenal. 
that's never too 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 young. There is always a balance, ne? Uh, is is the team accepting you? The players playing for you is also the experience that you need to put, and you also need a little bit of luck, to be honest, to 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 get there, you know. But I'm happy that uh, uh, he fulfilled his dreams, his vision, because he spoke to me, he says I want to coach Orlando Pirates. And as long as I'm sitting next to you here, I'm going to be behind you all the time. I need to fly. I said, fly, my boy. Go for it. You never know because I also was a coach at Supersport. I think I was 33 or 34 at Supersport United when I, when I was swimming with, with the Sharks, the, the Gordon Inge Sons, the Clive Buckers. You can call, name them all. So, yeah, he, he has achieved his, his dream, his vision, his fulfillment. But it's never the end. Mm. He's a good coach. He remains a good coach. He's one of the good coaches I've worked with. And I've said it before that I think he's going to be better than me. And I still believe that he's going to be better than me. He needs time to, to do that. And uh, there's enough time. I was a coach at Supersport for seven years in the Premier League. Do you know why I went? To be an assistant for five years. Mm. You know? So there's nothing wrong if he can be an assistant again. You know? Uh, that's the ways of encouragement from me to him. Okay, I'll give him a call, I'll speak to him, but I know emotions are a little bit different. I'll call him, I'll speak to Rulani and, 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 and find out how he feels and all that. I'll always advise him as a brother uh, that he still has a space in, in South African football. There are coaches who've been here for a very long time. Very, very long time. Won one trophy in 11 years or 10 years. So he must come back. I mean, he didn't even finish the season. So he has a chance, you know. It might not be now, it might be the other time. So he has an opportunity, he has the time, he's on his side, and he's going to learn more. You know, when you're not hands-on uh, in the background, you learn, you improve, you, you can do other things uh, behind the scenes. Pressure is not on you. So he's got time. Uh, he's a good coach. Uh, yeah, I ju I'm just, you know me, I talk for local coaches, you know. I'm just not happy that a uh, 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 local coach is gone. Um, not to say that I don't want f foreign coaches to be here, um, but I, uh, I I look after my team, my, my country. Mm. I know where I come from, I know the struggle that we go through. But I can always say Clinton Larson is back also. So one of the local coaches are back. So you can't have the cake and eat it, but I'll always speak for the local coaches because I know as a local coach, and especially as a black local coach, you really, really have to, to convince, ne? you really have to convince that uh, you are good. And sometimes you are not given enough time to really, really uh, convince. He's got enough time.